I don't know, I think it's cool. It's a little cheesy. It sounds nice. <laughs> I do like the name Collectivo, it sounds pretty exotic. Strawberry, or the tropical smoothie. This is a new chapter for us. We're moving on. Uh, we're becoming local and independent again as Colectivo Coffee. And I think when everybody comes in and stops by the cafes, they're going to see that all of our staff is still here and Ward, Paul, and I still own the company and the coffee is still fabulous and uh, all the good stuff is still here. We're just operating under a new name. Just as long as I am able to keep getting the same coffee. I'm, I'm a little uneasy with the change. I don't know what it means. I hope it doesn't change community. I feel like there's Altairs all over the place, so if they're renaming all of them, it won't be such a big deal. So, I'm, I'm cool with it. Three years ago, we did a deal with uh, the Mars organization that really uh, provided a ton of resources to our organization. Uh, but now it's time for us to, to separate and go independent and local again, and that's why we're changing our name to Colectivo. Colectivos are part and parcel of Central and South America. It's a bus. Um, it's the lowly and, and public bus, uh, which I think fits with us because we have always celebrated work. Um, so we've adopted that name and we are now Collectivo Coffee. And over the next three to four weeks, we'll do the physical change so that all the packaging will change and the cups are changing and the signs on the cafes will change. Uh, but only the name changes. Everything else is the same. I, d I don't really care about the brand. I'm just happy to be awake in the morning because of this coffee.